everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video which is gonna be a study with me vlog and I think I might make this a two-day vlog this is also gonna be a vlog with no makeup because I am so tired I don't know if you can see like my bags it is Wednesday the 14th of December and I went home on Monday like the change of moving home is always just so weird and like getting used to everything again when you've just got settled here Having to root yourself and go somewhere else like I just don't deal with it well And yeah, I've just not been sleeping. I don't really know why I just can't get to sleep and then basically my dad works like five minutes away from my uni house and he's gone into the office today and he was like do you want to go to uni and do some work and I was like, yeah, that's a great idea because since being home, I've done nothing and I've got so much work to do. So it's currently 25 past nine and I've just made myself a cup of tea. Got up at half seven this morning. But anyway, so from the last week of uni, week 10, I had a couple of bits of work that I haven't finished. So I need to do some reading for law, psychology in the law module. I need to do some reading and I've got, I think there's two articles to read for that. I'm gonna make a couple of notes on that. And then I need to put everything from week 10 onto my memory stick, which actually did I bring with me? Yeah, I think I did. So I need to put all that onto my memory stick and then that's it for like the term work. So then I can make a start on either the introduction for my dissertation, which I probably will prefer over the other option, which is to start my 1500 word essay. But I just, oh, I don't think I'll do that. I could literally go back to bed, I'm so tired. just put no oh my god this vlog is gonna be shambles i'm so sorry i've just made my notes for law i haven't actually written that much i just wrote that for each of the reading but i feel like i got all the main points um so yeah i'm done that and i'm now gonna put all of my files onto my memory stick for this week well wasn't this week it was oh there's a funeral car what are they called? Hurst? Is it Hurst? Um, because I do have OneDrive and I think it works but I like to have it on a memory stick to just like have a backup in case so yeah that's what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> This is meant to be a study with me and I've not really studied. One of my flatmates is here and I've just been spending time with him. I had lunch, I fell asleep for five minutes. Not very long nap, but it was a nap. Like I was just sitting on his bed whilst he was packing to go home and yeah, I just closed my eyes for like 10 minutes. Yeah, before this I added people onto my little spreadsheet. Let me show you what me and my part of the project is made we have this like little spreadsheet where we can book people in um for the driving simulator study because it's for my dissertation which i think i did tell you about but it's about the effects music has on driving so yeah people get to use the driving simulator so we're in the stage now where we're like booking people in which we're actually struggling to get for struggling to get 40 participants so i've just been booking a couple of people in there the other work i've got left to do over christmas is i've got an exam in january in the first week back so I'll revise for that later. I've got a 1500 word essay and dissertation work so I can like write the introduction for the dissertation. So I am thinking I'm gonna do some of the introduction, which was my plan to do for the most of the day. However, my dad said he's gonna pick me up at around three o'clock and it's currently quarter past two because of all of my like faffing I've been doing and just not doing work. I had a cry, I did. I did have quite a bit of a cry just because like I don't know I'm just emotional and 
I'm just not doing well at the moment, as you can probably tell. It's just a lot of change going home for Christmas and I'm stressed with quite a few things in my personal life and work life. And my mental health is also on the floor, so <laughs> we're not doing great. I am now going to try and use the last like hour I have to make it start on the introduction, which I find the hardest bit to write. So I'm probably only even going to get one sentence done. But if I do that, it's better than nothing and at least then it'll be started. So yeah, I'm going to try and do that. <laughs> demonstration of how tired I am and how not like me I am it just took me near enough that whole time to write one sentence because I just couldn't tell if it made sense or not and I got my flatmate to come and read it you probably saw in the last clip he added his own wording of it because I just couldn't make it make sense but I think it makes sense it's literally taken me all that time to write one two three sentences but it's better than nothing and it is now my little clock it's five past three but my dad has message saying that he's going to be here around four um so i'm going to try and do a bit more but i'm just so dead i'm so dead but it's better than nothing i'm still proud of myself it's okay if you aren't as productive as you wanted to be if you literally only get done one tiny thing on your to-do list if all you did today was get out of bed if all you did today was have a shower have a walk honestly just because you're not getting up and you're working every minute of every day or you haven't been as productive as you wanted to be it doesn't mean that your day has been a bad day or that you failed it's absolutely fine you can just try again another day and i think that's why i'm not being so hard on myself is because i know i've got a while to be doing this like the dissertation isn't due for ages so i'm not stressed about it i'm more stressed about the essay that i haven't started but I think that's why I'm putting it off and why I've chose to do this instead of the essay. But I know that once I start the essay, it'll be okay. It's just because I haven't written an essay since like midway through, actually no, the exams of year two. So since like June and I've just completely forgotten how to do it and I want it to be really well. Want it to be really well? See, I can't, my brain isn't working. I want it to be really good. That's a stress for another day when I've got like a better headspace and when I'm not as tired even if I do that when I'm back at uni because I don't think that's due until something like the 19th of January and term starts on the 9th whilst the start of term will be so busy doing the actual like collecting the data for the dissertation it's gonna be easier to probably do it here even at a weekend so I might come back like a week before term starts to do some more work and revision for the exam anyway so I can probably do it then so I'm not being like too hard on myself but then I also am stressed because I wanted today to be really productive and it hasn't been but it's okay date this is the section of the vlog hold on oh. ow oh. I can't do it I'll do it after I finish this clip basically yeah I'm taking myself out on a date because as you all know I am depressed and I just thought it'd be a really nice thing to do so I'm gonna go get myself a Costa and I'm gonna come and chat to you just about mental health really so if you fancy a little chat then enjoy i'm not gonna actually sit in the costa and have it i'm gonna come back and drink it in my car so i guess i'm not really taking myself on a date but i kind of am i'm gonna enjoy it i'm gonna enjoy going on my own and yeah it gets me out of the house even though it's absolutely freezing hi queens i have got my hot chocolate 
so let's have a try is this lighting really bad like i know this lighting's really bad but i kind of need to stay in this car park because then i'm gonna leave and go from here to pick my mum up after so i've not really got anywhere else to go so sorry if this lighting's shit but look i got the little christmas cup um oh this is gonna this is gonna be a problem people are gonna keep staring at me come on okay so i got i was gonna get a gingerbread hot chocolate but i got a white one Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's stunning. Mmm. Oh, that is so nice and it's so warm and cosy. I'm actually so proud of myself for coming and doing this. Like, I know to a lot of people, this is like not a big deal. But I think I really struggle to do things on my own now, especially after being in a relationship. I now like struggle to just do things on my own. So I'm really happy that I've came out and done this because I've got a nice hot chocolate and it's great. I wanted to talk to you guys, like, this isn't a dramatic chat, but I just wanted to come on here and give some reassurance to anybody who might be feeling the same way that I am at the moment. So I'm really struggling with my mental health. I have since I was like 13, to be honest. I just wanted to come on here and say that if you are feeling this way, you're not on your own because mental health can make you feel like you are the only person feeling this way and that you are the only person who is depressed, who is anxious. Like, it makes you feel so isolated and like you can't reach out for help and like you can't talk to anybody. So if that is you and you feel like you can't talk to anybody else, just I hope that even just one person seeing this is gonna feel reassured that you know other people do feel it and that's not to invalidate how you're feeling but it's to make you feel like you have somebody else who has the slightest slightest bit of tiniest understanding of what you're going through i have depression and it comes and goes okay they're gonna get in the car next to me now so maybe i'm just gonna sit and not talk <laughs> i just saw that they're um Okay, they're getting in the car. Let me let me just wait until they've gone. Do you know what? It's fine. Yeah, so I've had depression for a while and I am on antidepressants. I'm on sertraline. I have just increased my dose. Not sure if it's going to help. I will see. I have had counselling. I've been to many, 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 many services. And I did have private therapy in the summer that really really helped but obviously it costs like it's not sustainable right now so i had to obviously stop going to that what's happening for me right now is i'm finding everyday life very difficult and to anyone who doesn't have mental illness won't understand that it's very it's very difficult to just do normal tasks that i could normally do or that other people can do and so what I feel is that like I'm a failure and that I can't do life because so many other people are doing life so well like it seems like so many other people are doing life way better than I can and that they can cope with things way better than I can but I think a part of that is social media and seeing social media and people you know doing their daily life on social media like say on tiktok when people do a day in their life it looks so productive yet that's three minutes of their day so it's probably not like that but also from friends and family like i know that a lot of people do more than i do and manage that well whereas i feel like at the moment i'm doing the bare minimum i'm not even managing that well so i just feel like i'm not doing everything that I want to be doing it's not that I don't want to be doing all these things like I just can't if you have a mental health problem or specifically depression you will understand where I'm coming from like you just can't which then feeds into the guilt and the guilt of thinking that like I wanted to do this today I wanted to do this today and then I ha I've not even been able to like leave the house it's just it's difficult I just want to reassure that anyone who is feeling like this your feelings are valid but i i like kind of push you to evaluate the evidence of how you're feeling so like is everybody else actually doing more are they actually coping with it or are they just showing that they're coping with it where they might not be 
or have you actually done more than you think you have today and you should give yourself credit for that and also you can't measure what you're doing compared to somebody else because they've not gone through what you have they've not had the same life experiences they might not have had certain trauma that's led you to why you are like this today they might not have a mental health problem which amazing i was talking to my friend the other day and i was like you know people some people actually don't know what depression feels like like how mad is that oh my god i've got a spotlight for a minute whilst the car is parking like some people don't don't know that and i'm so happy for them but it's like we can't compare ourselves to people that don't have mental health problems because it's not the same we haven't got the same baseline of working if that makes sense and i've also been feeling like at the moment that a lot of it is my fault i'm kind of trying to work through that and trying to make myself realize that it's not I'm finding this really hard to explain but what it feels like is that i am causing my mental health problems which i know i'm not but i feel like sometimes my way of thinking about things or my way of reacting to things isn't this is just how i feel isn't like normal or isn't isn't appropriate i don't know what the words are but it then makes me feel like i'm the reason why i'm depressed and and I am making myself like this and that feels really really shit because it's like I know what I need to do to get better but I can't do it but it's then like it's my fault because I'm not like I'm thinking in a certain way like I think I do think quite negatively about things and no matter how hard I try like to practice gratitude and it's, it does help practicing gratitude does really help but when i'm in a depression phase that's like really bad nothing really helps and i just have to ride it out i guess i don't know just feeling like it's my it's my fault that i'm like this because of the way that i think and it might be it might be but i also know that i have had some bad experiences that have led me to the way I am today. I have, you know, possibly got less serotonin in my brain or whatever that is also feeding into it. It's not just the way that I think. And so I just also wanted to come on here and say that if you are feeling the way that you are feeling, and I'm gonna try and listen to my own advice here, if you are feeling like it's your fault, I promise you it's not. I promise you it's not. Your life, has had things in it go wrong or some trauma or some heartbreak that has played into it and there might be something different in your brain there might not be enough serotonin there might be i can't remember the other thing of it like in psychology there are biological reasons why you can suffer with your mental health and why you can suffer from depression it's not just your thoughts it's not just all in your mind when people say that it's not your brain is an organ and it can be poorly and that's that's what it is it's an illness you are poorly like your heart would be poorly your brain is poorly and you need to treat yourself as though you are ill as though you are poorly give yourself rest days if you feel you need it give yourself time and patience and care to heal it's just difficult when your brain is in a constant fight between give yourself rest look after yourself and no you should be doing more like this is not enough like you should be able to function more than this it's hard when like your brain seems to be arguing against each other and it's like you've got the guilt in with that you've got other people's opinions in with that it's just it's hard but yeah sorry i just felt like i needed a bit of a rant and a bit to share where i'm at at the moment and to anyone else that is like struggling with their mental health you are not alone i promise you you are not alone i am here so many other people do understand what you're going through and we will get better like this phase will pass just keep trying to get through every day take it day by day don't think too far into the future just get through the day do some little things in your day that's going to make you smile like going to get a costa and be patient with yourself 
you are healing and it takes time. On a more positive note, I really used to struggle to think about the future because it would just scare me and to be honest, for mental health reasons, I didn't make a plan for myself in the future. Like I didn't I didn't think I was going to be here. And so now I'm here. <laughs> I don't have a plan for myself for after uni, like I don't and I finally, finally found that I want to do makeup, like I want to be a makeup artist and so for once I'm actually like really loving the thought of the future and I just want to get there like what's making me keep going at the moment is visualizing a place in my life where I'm happy and I know I will probably still struggle with my mental health but I just want to be able to manage it or to have less good days no have less bad days than good days I just want to get to a place where I'm living on my own I have my own cat like I have somebody there with me whether that's a friend or a partner and yeah I'm just like earning money enjoying my job I just want to get to there and obviously I've still got like term two and term three of this year of uni I'm so excited to graduate and but then after that obviously I'm not probably going to be earning a lot of money straight away like I need to focus on earning money so that I can afford a house so that I can afford a mortgage like university and finishing uni is very is a very wishy-washy time where people know their goals or not necessarily even know their goals they don't know what to do I was like that like six months ago I had no idea what I was going to do and it's scary because everything's changing and all of a sudden you have to you have to do real adult stuff and it is scary I feel like uni is such a bubble it's like you only exist in this little bubble of work your flatmates and your uni house and your uni like it's such a bubble whenever I come home I'm like there's actually a world that exists outside of uni but yeah I don't know what the point of that was I guess it's just that if you can focus on something that you want in the future and that you know is going to probably bring you more happiness than the place that you are in now focus on that make yourself a vision board I'm gonna make myself one for next year which I will film a video on whilst appreciating where you are now and appreciating all the accomplishments you've made now it's okay to look forward to something in the future I feel like to get you through whatever you're going through right now my final final takeaway points from this shitty rant or whatever has come out of this is please please look after yourself be kind to yourself do whatever you want to do that feels right for you whether that is staying in bed all day whether that is going out for a walk and that's all you do that day that's okay challenge your irrational beliefs so if you are thinking something like that it's your fault evaluate that write down the evidence for and against that and then restructure your thought think is this actually true or is more emotion playing into this thought than actual rational thoughts talk to your friends talk to your family if you have supportive people around you reach out for help if you feel like you want to do that have some therapy if you feel like that would really help you I am on a waiting list for therapy by the way, um, I don't think I mentioned that. I'm on another waiting list which is going to be forever but never mind. You are going to get through this, there is another side to it and there is a time in your life where your mental health will not have a massive impact on you and you know there's so many more people in your life that are going to love you that you haven't even met yet so keep going. I'm proud of you. Tell yourself, I am beautiful, I am strong, I am capable of getting through this, I am kind, I am patient, I am a good friend. I'm going to end this video here because I now have quite a busy afternoon. I need to go pick up my mum from where she's getting her car serviced and take her around to do her little jobs that she needs to do. I'm sorry if it's been depressing, I just feel like these conversations need to be had. Not enough people talk about mental health and I am a sufferer of mental health so what better time to just sit and talk about it and be honest with you i don't want to be portraying i don't want to be portraying a sort of ideal world on this on this platform that i have all my shit together because i really don't i'm struggling <laughs> anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you so so much for watching if you stayed this long you are an angel thank you and yeah 
I will see you in my next video. Bye.